Hello, everyone. Welcome to join our Lower Wen Training Station. So, in the following section, I will show you how to configure our Lower Wen Gateway, the Y66 and N Gateway, and the Lower Wen Node, our BB WSW Series Node. And I'm Terry. I'm a location engineer from Advantech IoT Group. So, the first section we are talking about Lower Wen Node. So, before you get our Lower Wen Node, Please visit our official website to download the utility of the node, download a quick guide for the node. And this is the image of our lower wind node. Please open the cast and you will see there is a board and with two uh, connectors. The first connector is the data connector and the power connector with your sensor and power supply. And the other connector is the console connector. So please prepare one of the micro USB cable to connect the node with your computer. So after to connect it with a computer, you will need the driver of our board. So please download driver here. And this pin definition will help help you to do the wiring. So we have two uh, two SKU. The first SKU is the IS485 SKU. So it's the pin definition for the IS485 SKU. Also have the definition for the AIDIDO SKU. Uh, for the AIDIDO SKU, uh, please uh, please to configure the input. For example, uh, we have two input. Uh, one is the current, the other one is the flow. So you have to choose one of them. In all of this uh, definition and detail about our the, our data payload of the lower window are uh, mentioned in our uh, quick install guide. So please download our document in the website. And this one is our lower window node utility. After you install it on the computer, you can show the basic info of the lower window node and the firmware version, also the basic device description. You can use this utility to configure the node, also to update the firmware of this node. On the first page is the basic information of the Lorawei node. So you see, this node is the ADP node. Uh, also, you can configure it to the OTA node. Uh, it will show you the uh, device address and the APPT and the network key. These two key is a key for the network server to decode the data of this Lorawei node. So this key is very important. And we will use these two keys later to configure our network server on the wide scale. And this one is the radio uh, setting page. So it will show you the uh, frequency of your Lorawei node support. And also you can configure the IF power and the data rate. So for well, configuring the data rate, uh, you know what? Uh, the higher the data rate, the least the, the uh, communication distance. So, so it based on your application to, to choose the data rate you want to use. And the following is the channel selection. You can uh, select the channel, so the node will use this channel to to update the data to the lower wave receiver. Uh, the last page is the sensor page. So under this sensor page, you can configure the input output of your sensor. And there is a limitation about our lower chipset. So the minimum uplink interval should be higher than five seconds. And this one is the setting page for the i 485 SKU. So you will have the UR setting to connect with your sensor. And you will have six rules, six MOBAS read rules to communicate with your MOBAS mobile sensor. And actually, each of the rules can read three MOBAS address. It's under function for three. But it can read up to 23 address when speeding up the lower data rate. So uh, it depends on your application to, to, to configure the rule and the right rule as well. 
For a second section, we'll show you how to configure our LoRaWAN gateway. So for LoRaWAN gateway, before we start to configure it, uh, it's important to know the data flow, how it crosses on what the process on the gateway. So first thing is LoRaWAN gateway will receive the data from LoRaWAN node. So not only will receive data, also it will deal with the data by its network server function. Network server is the function to help you to decrypt the data you receive from the LoRaWAN node. After you uh, decrypt this data, the network server will send the data to the application server. And all of the process of the function can be, uh, can be complete on our drawing gateway, WISE 66 gateway. So let's go to the gateway RF setting first. Uh, this is the power information of the drawing gateway. Then you go to the UE and use the default IP and ID password to log in the gateway and you go to user module to choose the LoRaWAN gateway function. The first thing is to configure the LoRaWAN radio. So please enable radio. Then uh, there are many uh, frequency that you can choose for the uplink data. Only this uh, frequency can receive the data. So. Uh, there is a quick state up wizard here. You can always click this wizard, then you choose one of the frequency to receive the data. Then you have to direct the uh, Rowan gateway to one of the network server. Some of the user will have their own network server in the cloud, so maybe they can uh, input the network server IP address here. But in this example, we want to show you our LoRaWAN gateway supports the network server function as well. So we will direct the network server to its loopback IP. So the gateway will uh, continue to process the data after it receives the data from the system. And this one is the MQTT worker function. So after the network server process the data. We can use this embedded MQTT broker function to, uh, to help you to collect the data. So other platform, other application can subscribe the data from our MQTT broker. And here is the lower one status. It's an important page for you to debug if the lower one gateway have received any data from the sensor. Also, it will show the TX, the transmission data sent in by the lower one gateway in this page. So you go to the lower one status to check the RF setting. So uh, to check the RF status. So after all of the settings have been configured, let's go to the network server part. So this is the link for the network server. So in this section, we will show you how to do the configuration for a network server function on our WISE gateway. Actually, a network server is a software function, so uh, you have to define uh, what kind of information the network server it has to process. So we just input the gateway here. So the network server will know you need to deal with the data which you get from the, this gateway. So we will always leave the gateway setting with the TX chain in zero. The next part is the network frequency for the network server. Uh, we have already uh, configured four default settings for different countries, so you don't have to configure the frequency by yourself. The next part is the handler. The handler will define the information you want to remain, you want to receive. Actually, the handler is a rule for the network server to process the data. So when the network server receives data, uh, actually there are many items in the raw data, but it will only leave these fields 
after to the process, the procession about the network server. So you can go to the handler and you decide what kind of fields you want to have for each uh, sensor node data. The next part is after the network server deal with the uh, data, it need to uh, transmit the payload and the lower wind data to somewhere. And this software function is supposed to use two ways. The first one is send the data through the MQTT protocol to, to one MQTT broker. The other way is to support you the WebSocket function. So for the MQTT uh, topic, you will see for each published uplink from the sensor node, we will give the one of the MQTT topic for the uh, receiving uh, message. So the data will be sent to the MQTT broker with the topic. And the other one is the transmission packet. So we create another receive topic for the for the transmission message. So the user can send the data through this MQTT topic to the lower wind sensor. And here is the detailed connect connector setting page for your reference. So we have already uh, complete the setting of the network server rule and we we still need to uh, add the information of the lower wind sensor that the network server need to process in the setting page so for each lower wind node we need to pair the handler with one of the network and the network rule is in this profile setting so you just click the profile, then you click, you choose one of the handlers you have already configured. Then uh, you have you, you need to follow the slides to, to complete the setting. And there are two types of uh, lower wind sensor node. One of one of it is ABP sensor node. So if your sensor is the ABP type, please click the activity. So it's the setting page for the ABB type node. You have to insert the address and the network key and the application key for the network server. The other type is the OTAA node. So for the OTAA node, you have to insert the DVUI and the APP, DVUI, APP UI, and APP key. This information you can get from the sensor provider. So you can um, input the information of the OTA sensor here. And once you configure the network server rule and the sensor rule, then you can go to a receipt friends page. In this page, if you see the information, I will say congratulations. Yeah, you have already complete all of the setting. Now the network server can process the data well and you can uh, get the data from the network server in our following section. Um, this is the setting page of a receipt friend. You can also use the transmission friends page, page to help you to send the data to the LoRa sensor node. So there are two options. The first one is you send the uh, data to the node via this web UI. So when you click the transmission friends, then you can insert the uh, sensor edges. Then you can decide the data and you decide a port to send our data to the sensor. And the other way is, uh, I'm not sure if you remember, we have already created an MQT topic for receive topic. So when the network server receive this, receive this topic, then it will know that you want to send some of the data to the sensor. So these are the two ways for you to send out the message to the sensor. And the last one is the application server setting. So now we have already processed the data well, but we want to show something in our application. 
And if you don't have any uh, software program, that's okay. You can use the no way on our Lorwin gateway. So you enable no way function. Then you go to the no way page. Then you create a data flow. You subscribe the topic that you just uh, configured in the network server page. Then you can receive the data. So this is one of the basic way you can show the current data you receive from the lower Winston node. And if you are using our uh, BB-WSW node series, then we create another uh, application server for you to show the current status on our UE. So let's go to the application server page, then we enable the application server. Then we receive, we subscribe the topic from the MQTT broker. Then uh, you have to go back to the uh, node setting. You need to insert one of the app argument for our BB-WSW series. So this one, advantage. Then you go to a handler to check if the handler equips all of the information this here after all of the setting then you can see the status and the data on our lora when application server page so it's under the state status page so not only you can check the information here but also you can configure the node under this application server page Also, for the BB-WSW uh, node, because we have already assigned an uh, APP argument for it, for it, so you can receive the data which have already been uh, classified. So you can subscribe this MQTT topic, then you can see the data have already been classified. In this example, we have already received the more bus more bus data and it has already been classified here. So this is the function of our LoRaWin gateway and node.